Today I'm going to show you how to install Linux Mint in a virtual machine using VMware Player from an ISO. First thing you do is go to create a new machine and select installer disk image file ISO and then navigate to where you have your ISO saved. In my case it's on the desktop and then click next. Um, it's a Linux software and some people choose Ubuntu. I'm just gonna go with other Linux 64-bit because this is a 64-bit version of Mint. And next, here we name the virtual machine and you can call your virtual machine anything you want. I'm going to call mine Mint. Uh, I always choose to store my virtual disk as a single file and I'm going to give 12 gigs of hard drive space for my uh, virtual machine to run on. I'm also going to customize some of my hardware because I don't need a floppy drive so I'm going to remove that. Uh, I'm going to give an additional processor and change that to 2 just so it runs a little bit with a little bit more power and then for the memory I'm going to increase it to about a gig of RAM and that's all the customization of the hardware I'm going to do and then I click finish so now we've got mint showing here um, so select it if it's not and click play machine and on we go Looks like we got about 10 seconds to wait for the automatic boot. And that's basically how you set up Linux Mint, Linux Mint through the VMware player. Now you would just go to install Linux, um, just like you would if you had the CD in your physical drive. And uh, the rest of it's pretty cut and dry to installing any operating system on your machine. From here, we, it's just telling us what we need and we've got that because we allowed for 12 gigs uh, we w will erase the entire disk and install Linux Mint because it's a virtual disk that we've just created there's nothing else on it that we need to worry about erasing it's not gonna erase your entire computer hard drive it's only gonna fill the Linux Mint virtual machine on the virtual hard drive that we just created and then you click install now and it will go through the process of unloading all the files and it's pretty straightforward from there. Thanks for watching my tutorial.